potatoes in the building. Okay, so ready? I'm gonna catch you. Oh, okay, did you see? Yeah. Show you it one more time. Okay? Now, if we are thinking about inertia, objects in motion stay in motion. Okay? So if Sienna, if I wasn't here and Sienna fell, what would happen? She would stay in motion. She would fall to the floor. Now, objects in motion stay in motion unless acted upon by an outside force. So Sienna, when you fall, yeah. fall. Yeah. I am the outside force. She was going to stay in motion unless I caught her. Okay, thank you. Go back to your seat. Inertia is basically like a type of force. It's like even like something more like um like trains crashing into into another train. It's basically basically more like that. And you in the car if you're going really fast and someone steps on the brakes, you you will, if you're not wearing a seatbelt, the force will um, you will stay in motion unless an outside force stops you. So if you if you keep going forwards and there's a seat in front of you, you'll just bash into the seat. If you don't put on a seat belt and your parents break um, very hard, then you will go flying and you might really hurt yourself. So well, that's why um, seat belts are very important. Objects at rest will stay at rest because, like, so if I say that, so that you, so um the 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 let let the mat come to me. It won't come because it's inertia. It's 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 at rest. So so I have to move it instead. This is Mrs. Happy, and if I just talk to her, she wouldn't really move. Why? Because there's nothing pushing her. She's not alive. There's nothing really pushing her so she can really move. So objects that are resting, what do they do? They stay at rest.